Have you ever noticed how many muscle a man seems to go bold? And why is that? Could all that testosterone fueled muscle growth actually be working against their hairline? Today, we're digging into why muscle men are often more prone to hair loss. Here's already some conclusion I want to share with you. It's not just about high testosterone, it's also actually about how testosterone interacts with your hair follicles and why fitness habits might play a surprising role in hair health. There are many reasons, from genetics to hormones to workout routines. We will dive into the scientific connection between muscle growth and hair loss, and we will share with you some tips to help keep hair even if you are getting these big muscles. Let's see the link between testosterone and hair loss. To understand why muscle men are often bold, let's start with testosterone. Testosterone is the hormone responsible for developing masculine traits like muscle growth, a deep void, and yes, even some impact on hair. But here's the catch. Testosterone doesn't directly cause hair loss. Instead, it's converted into a byproduct called dehydrotestosterone or DHT, which is linked to male pattern boldness. According to research published in Experimental Dermatology, DHT is actually the primary responsible for androgenetic alopecia, the most common cause of hair loss for men. So if you're a man with higher testosterone levels, you're likely to have higher levels of DHT, especially if you're genetically predisposed to boldness. What is the role of genetics in DHT sensitivity? Here's where the things get even more interesting. DHT doesn't affect all men in the same way. Some men's hair follicles are genetically programmed to be more sensitive to DHT than others. If your dad, uncles or grandfather were bold, chances that you might inherit in that DHT sensitivity. According to a study published in Nature Communication, researchers have identified genetic markers associated with DHT sensitivity and male pattern boldness. These genes can make hair follicles shrink over time, eventually leading to thinner, shorter hair until they no longer grow at all. So it's not just about having high testosterone, it's also about how your body and your hair follicles respond to it. Some men with high testosterone may keep a full head of hair while others will start balding young it's all in the genes. Let's see the link between muscle building, testosterone, and hair loss. So if DHT sensitivity play a role, what about all those intensive gym workouts? After all, working out boosts testosterone levels. Could this be accelerating hair loss in muscle men? Here's the science. Physical exercises, especially resistant training like weightlifting, can temporarily boost testosterone level. A study in the Journal of Applied Psychology found that heavy resisting training increased circulating testosterone immediately after a workout. However, it will return to the baseline levels within a few hours. While this temporary boost in testosterone isn't likely to cause hair loss in its own, for men already genetically predisposed to DHT sensitivity, higher overall testosterone could mean a greater conversion to DHT over time, potentially speeding up the balding process. What is the effect on protein and supplements on hair loss? Let's talk about supplements. Many muscle men use protein shakes and various supplements to support muscle growth. But are these products playing a role in hair loss too? Some researchers suggested that certain bodybuilding supplements, especially those containing creatine, might indirectly raise DHT levels. A study published in Clinical Journal of Sports Medicine found that young male rugby players who took creatine supplements had higher DHT levels after just three weeks. Now, creatine itself doesn't cause hair loss, but if you're already prone to boldness due to DHT sensitivity, this could make a huge difference. It's something to consider if you're noticing more hair shedding while on these supplements. What is the impact of stress cortisol on hair loss? We can't forget about stress, which is often part of a high-intensity training routine. Whether it's physical or emotional, stress can lead to a rise in cortisol, the body's main stress hormone, which has its own effect on hair loss. High cortisol levels can push hair follicles into the resting phase prematurely, a phenomenon called telogen effusion. According to a study in the Journal of Investigation Dermatology, the stress-induced hair loss can occur within a few months of intensive physical or emotional stress. So, if you're putting your body through a lot of physical stress with intensive workouts, it's worth managing your stress level outside the gym to keep your hair as healthy as possible. And what about the influence of your diet on your hair health? What about diet? 
Muscle development often focus on protein-rich diets to build muscles, but it means skimping on other nutrients, it can actually affect her health. For instance, deficiencies in zinc, iron, and vitamin D are all associated with hair loss. A 2013 review published in Dermatology and Therapy showed that these nutrients play essential roles in hair follicles function and growth. So, if your diet is heavy on proteins but light on vegetables, nuts, and other nutrient foods, you might not be giving your hair the building blocks it needs to stay strong. Let's discuss now about the steroids and hair loss. Let's tackle a big one, anabolic steroids. Many bodybuilders and athletes use this for muscle gain, but steroids are notorious for speeding up hair loss. Anabolic steroids are synthetic form of testosterone, and they can significantly increase DHT levels. A study published on the American Journal of Sports Medicine found that steroid users are markedly higher levels of DHT and were more likely to experience hair loss compared to non-users. So if you're concerned about hair loss, be cautious with steroids or testosterone boosters as they can push you closer to baldness if you're already predisposed to it. What is the impact of blood circulation on the scalp health? Did you know that circulation plays a role in hair health too? The scalp needs good blood flow to deliver nutrients to hair follicles. And exercise is generally good for blood flow, but there is the thing. An intense focus of muscle building might mean tight neck and shoulder muscle, which can restrict blood flow to the scalp. A study in plastic and reconstructive surgery found that scalp tension from poor circulation can impact hair follicles, potentially affecting hair growth. So, if you're doing the heavy lifting, consider scalp massage or neck exercise to keep the blood flowing to your scalp. What if you still lose your hair as a muscle man? Hair loss can be tough psychologically, especially for guys who work hard to look strong and fit. Muscle men other feel pressure to maintain a certain image and the hair loss can feel like it's taking away from that. Remember, hair doesn't define you and confidence comes from within. Many muscular, bold men embrace their look and feel great. So don't let hair loss hold you back from feeling confident. Here are my top five tips for muscle men to keep their hair. So if you're a muscular guy and you want to keep your hair in top shape, here are a few practical tips to consider. First tip, limit creatine and supplement use. Be mindful of creatine or testosterone boosters if you're noticing hair shedding. Even if they support muscle growth, they could be spreading up hair loss if you're DHT sensitive. Tip number two, eat a balanced diet. A diet rich in vitamin and minerals is essential, especially zinc, iron, and vitamin D. Balance those protein shakes with leafy greens, nuts, and a variety of whole food. You can also use our proven supplements available on ultiparis.com. Third tip, hydrate and manage stress. Stay hydrated, get plenty of rest, and try activities like yoga or meditation to lower cortisol levels. Managing stress can help protect your hair from stress-related shedding. Tips number four, avoid anabolic steroids. If hair is a priority, avoid steroids or synthetic testosterone boosters. This can be a major step into maintaining a full head of hair. Fifth tips, focus on scalp health. Consider scalp massages or relaxation exercises for neck and shoulder to promote good blood circulation to the scalp. We have an excellent silicone brush available on our website. At the end of the day, muscle men and hair loss often goes hand in hand due to a combination of hormones, genetics, and lifestyle. But now you're equipped with the science and some tips to help manage it. Remember, bold or not, confidence is what truly shines. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on hair health and let us know in comments if this video helped. Feel free to share any question, we'll reply to all of them.